three ways to share your calls to action during a Facebook live stream using Be Live. Hi, my name's Krishna Day, and you'll find me online at krishna.me where I share digital communications, social media, and live video tips. In this quick tutorial, I want to show you three different ways that you can show your content in terms of a call to action on your screen during a live stream. Now, of course, you could do so by speaking out loud. You could hold something up in front of the camera. You can do as I've actually got here where I'm sharing a, a presentation. And so I could have a call to action in that presentation. Or there are three specific ways you can use it on Be Live TV. So the first thing is you can write an on-screen update just underneath here. So I'm not live at the moment, but I'm going to show you how to do that. And the first thing you might want to do is prepare this in advance, have it in a notes area, or of course, then you could respond in real time just by sharing a very quick update. So in here, I actually might want to just put something like, thanks for joining us live. And then when I click on show, it comes up as a static update and it is an overlay there, and then I can hide it. And then that's cleared for me to run, write another update. But I might want to, if I've got a particular series of shows that I'm doing, have the same calls to action, the same information on an agenda. And that's where I can use the agenda area. Over here on the left hand side, if I click on agenda, you actually can see I've got a number of agendas. I can create a new one, but I've got one here for my talk on social business show. So if I click on that, it's going to bring up a pre-prepared agenda. So I can then click on show that and it then says, thank you for joining the show. I can then actually tell you what the hashtag is. If I wish to, I can just hide it. I can also delete it if I think that's not appropriate to have anymore. And I can also reorder it just by using the arrows to go up and down. But all of these are actually static. And so again, it will just come up during the live stream. And once I've finished wanting to show that on screen, so my call to action there is about how to follow me on Twitter, I can now hide it. The third area, which is a new area released in March of 2018 for Be Live TV, is a call to action that actually goes across the screen. So it's scrolling text. So this is called the call to action feature within the agenda area. So I went to agenda. Instead of going to agenda item, I've gone to call to action. I've already got one prepared. So here I've named it CTA Talking Social Business. So if I bring that up, and so I can show this one here and it says, thanks for joining the social talking social business show. And so it scrolls across my screen. So I'd say use this with care. You don't want it to have it um, constantly on the show, but at certain times it actually is a great way to get visual impact in terms of your content. So I can just hide it just as with the agenda feature. I can delete it. I can reorder it or I can add more content onto my call to action. So if I click on call to action, and I can just put in a new call to action here. So you can put in something like, as we had before, thanks for joining us live, and I can add my call to action. So if I want to, I can just move that up my agenda here for my call to actions. And so I might want to have that and I want to show it several times during the show. And instead of it being static as before, now it's a scrolling text. So in summary, there are three ways that you can use Be Live TV and share a call to action. You can firstly write the on-screen update. You can secondly use the agenda feature and have those agendas already prepared. And that will show you a static update that actually will appear on your show or well, the third is to use a call to action, which scrolls across the screen. And what you'll see there is where it actually just has the text and it actually has that call to action there. And then you can decide to show it or hide it. I hope that's been of assistance in terms of taking you through those three ways. If you've got questions about using live video and integrating it into your communications, be that for marketing, social business, in terms of attracting more leads, or in fact, employee engagement inside your enterprise, or even for crisis management, reach out to me at krishna.me.